know when I was saying points for the COB, the reason I say that is because um, I took this um, class with my sister, the diabetic, um, you know, like health class, even though, thank God, I don't have to do this. I'm not insulin. I don't have to do insulin dependency type of treatment. I don't have to take uh, shots or anything. Um, it does run in our family, so I have to be careful and lose a couple of more pounds. So I have to be um, conscious of my eating habits and, you know, try to lose a couple of pounds. And to speak of that, um, my mother, she was saying that me and her should do Weight Watchers, and um, she had did Weight Watchers, and it was an awesome, you know, transformation for her. I mean, she she she's um she didn't do any extra exercise, but her job um, she do move around a lot. My mom's a nurse. And, um, you know, but she was skinny. And when I say skinny, I ain't talking about a size two, four. But, you know, she was a good small size for us. I think she might even got down to like a, a 10. I mean, and my mom, you know, she was, uh, you know, like thick woman like me. Like I used to be able to go in my mom's closet and pull stuff out and can wear because she got nice stuff. Yes, I put my mama clothes on, especially with this, you know, uh, Lane Bryant wardrobe she got, which is awesome. But she had got so small that her clothes wasn't fitting me right. I was too big for them. So, I don't know. She, she suggested it. And I'm thinking, yeah, New Year, you know, I didn't make no resolutions because I'm not trying to say I'm going to do something just because it's the new year. Not that it's anything wrong with it because it's not but for me um, I just want to be better every day regardless of new year or not. So, But um, she suggested we do Weight Watchers and I'm thinking about it. You know because when I took that um, class, that diabetic health class you know, it informed me on how to eat right, um, how to, you know, measure your food so that you're eating good portions and things you can eat so you can be full and still have a, a within the range of what you should be eating because um, that's my thing. Portion control was out of control and that class helped me to get that into perspective. So I think the next step would be Weight Watchers where, um, you know, I can do further learning on how to take care of myself and get my body right. I mean, Jennifer Hudson was their sponsor and she really got small and a healthy small. Um, I don't know. She, you know, I want to be that small, but who knows what the Lord wants me to do. But I'm thinking about it. So, what you guys think? Anybody been on Weight Watchers? Um, what did they have? Like, what was your experience with it? Was it not, you know, pleasant, a successful experience? Or, hold on, I got to turn off. Got this big truck behind me. You got to slow his end down like right on my end. These folks, the speed limit is 50 and they do like 70. Like that's the speed limit. That's on the on the, on the the highway. But they doing like 70. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so you know I'm thinking about it. Um, like I was asking, what was y'all experience um, if you did Weight Watchers, or are you doing Weight Watchers? Because she said, you know, it's like a little fee for weekly, you know, your little meetings. It's not that much. Um, but 
she's like you get you know it's like camaraderie it's easy to lose weight when you have someone doing it with you and by yourself um but you come in do your little weigh-ins and you have little meetings and little tips for one another on how to lose weight or you know making dishes that are good and stuff like that and my mom was eating when she was on Weight Watchers. It wasn't no little salad and carrot diet, you know, even though she did eat a lot of carrots and stuff and vegetables. But she was eating, and it didn't seem like it was, you know, a hindrance. So I'm thinking, yeah, I might do that next. That way I'll be ready for the summer, um, be a nice shape for the summer because um, just from that diabetic class changing all my eating habits, I did, um, you know, like slim down some and tone, you know, got a little bit of weight off of me, which was good. Um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's holiday, that, that whole season don't do too good with anyone trying to eat right because, you know, that's where the good food comes in and family good times all that so um speaking of christmas we had an awesome time christmas um my brother uh, well my sisters we all came down with the kids to you know at my mom's house and we do our caroling and it was so much fun i mean we had like where we was we was <laughs> acting a fool but it was good and I actually did like I was like a choir director who lost her mind <laughs> it was funny um, but you know I'm thinking I might do that for you know little help a little more knowledge on how to eat and do things proper so that I can be full and fabulous but um, yeah so that's my day guys um i got my cob i'm about to go eat my lunch and relax and now i'm getting back on the most terrible road in america in my opinion at least top 10 because they have they i don't know they're just not repaving it or what and they put this tar rock concoction that someone in um uh, the DOT came up with down here that they fill these big old potholes with this rock tar concoction and then when it rains um, which it was raining all last week it washes this stuff out so the potholes are there and they're bigger so it's just terrible I just really can't stand this road um, I know my husband's like if you're your, your um, struts and stuff go out um I'm supposed to get them to pay for it the, the, the people who take on the road commission because they're supposed to take care of this road and this road been like this for a decade or more and it's worse I mean it has to literally be a big hole that crosses the whole street before they'll come in and they'll do like this patch job but they really just need to pave it um they got people down here hopeful that there's this new system where they're going to come and pave all these roads and I hope they do Lord willing please God let them do it because this road is terrible but yeah I'm going to go I'm just babbling now um, I guess I'll see you guys when um, I get back on which I should I'm, I'm going to try not no I'm not going to be a stranger and I'm not just going to disappear. Um, I'll come back on with content. And again, I just thank you guys for taking the time out, you know, with me and checking me out and all the wonderful comments. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, for those who are like YouTube, uh, you know, professionals, um, this is one of the channels that's not very professional. I'm just really just doing this for personal enrichment and maybe an encouragement to others, you know, a kind word or just to see someone's, you know, not that different as from you, you know, I'm just a regular person living a regular life and highly blessed by the Lord and I just wanted to share with you guys 
and I miss you guys. Um, I gotta get another router because the internet here is very, very slow, and I need to get a better router to get that connection pushed out through the house. Um, that's just neither here nor there, just extra information, I guess. But that's why I'm not, haven't been on checking out y'all videos as much as I would like because they just really don't play well or it takes forever for it to load and by that time I'm, I gotta move on to the next thing and I make dinner or go to bed or, you know, spend time with the family. But yeah, um, that was my quick errand trip. Um, I hope it was, you know, it was fun for me and helpful for me and um i'm gonna sign off now and i'll see you guys later i will be back and uh don't forget my um facebook page cassie p4c hair that's on facebook um i have some new likes on that page and i thank you guys for that too and um yeah that's gonna be it for now so um, of course, Jesus loves you, and so do I, and y'all stay blessed and have a great day. Bye.